Hey guys, I just want to say thank you first of all for allowing me to send you this video. My name is Joelle and I'm with Zoe SEO and Web Design. Basically, what I'm going to be sharing with you is the three main things that Google is looking for when a search is made. This will help you to begin to outrank your competitors on Google and ultimately bring in those customers and that revenue from the use of your website here. You're probably wondering why am I making this video for you? Well, I'm also a small business owner and I've learned that most business owners are just too busy taking care of their customers that they don't have time to learn how to make the internet and the use of their website bring in more customers. And so the main thing stopping them from hiring someone to help them also is that they don't know who the expert is. So I found that if I'm able to create these informative videos, give them away for free, a lot of business owners will take what I have shared with them and do it themselves. But some will call me back and have me do it for them. Whatever you want to do is totally cool with me. I just want to help however I can. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the three main things involved with search engine optimization or SEO. These are content, backlinks, and citations. Implementing these three components will be what gets those potential customers to your site. The first thing we need to do is make sure you have a lot of content. The average website that ends up on the first page of Google should have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on their first page here. This is all the text, titles, and what your images are saved as. And what you, once you get more content than your competitor, you will blow them out of the water. Within the content, you'll want to make sure that you have buyer intent search terms or keywords. A keyword is just a phrase that someone types into Google. Buyer intent means they need the service and they're not just wanting to look at an image or learn about something. So, for example, if I search for my computer is acting a little slow. Here we go. Um, if I search for electrician, okay, well, that would be a, a very important keyword to have within your content. Now, if you are, you know, serving the Los Angeles area, you would want to have electrician Los Angeles. Okay, um, of course, it's not going to be in here because you don't have the word electrician. But um, when you're adding your content, you want to make sure that you add the necessary high volume key phrases or search terms a couple of times. You can also save your titles and the descriptions of your pages and your images as keywords. It'll all help you rank. So your content on your website is number one. Number two is backlinks, and this is considered off-site optimization. A backlink is when another website is linking to your website, driving traffic to you. This is really important. Google ranks your value on the authority those other websites give you. Google wants to see a bunch of trustworthy companies vouching for your company. Now keep in mind they want to see relevant links, which means it will give you a lot more power if you have another electrical company or construction company linking to you than say a Vons grocery store. So the tool I use to see how a website is ranking on Google is called Arefs. And I've already put your information in there. Basically you have one website linking to you giving power to one backlink. Uh, this tool shows me the amount of keywords that you're ranking for and um, how many backlinks that you have. So when I search for a electrician in Lawndale, this guy, Pinna Electric, comes up. And as you can see, um, he's definitely bringing in that traffic and that value. He has 621 other websites linking back to him through 3,000 backlinks. So what you would want to do is copy them. Visit all 621 websites. See, because if these websites are good enough to get him to the top, then they are good enough for you. Just add a link or a few on each of these websites that links back to your homepage or one of your service pages. Most of the time you can just create a profile and add a link in the profile or put a comment somewhere. 
So then if you add your URL, which would be this right here, uh, to all of these other websites and the necessary content with more relevant backlinks, this is how you will beat your competitor on Google search organically. Now, uh, if you want to beat your competitor, oops, if you want to beat your competitor with ads, Google Ads, you'll want to bid higher than your competitor. And if you want to be at the top of the Google Maps section, um, you'll need to have more citations than your competitor. Now, I saw this right here and it resembled your name. And so I clicked on it and it is a completely different website but it has the same, basically the same URL as yours. So I'm guessing that you guys are connected to this website. Well, basically, if you are, the, the same thing goes for this one as well. And um, you'll want the necessary content, you'll want the necessary other uh, websites linking. And so, um, but, if you would like this website to get to the top of the map section, then you'll need to um, then you'll need to uh, add more citations than what these sites have. A citation is anywhere your business's name, address, and phone number is listed in a different directory. And a directory is a website like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, and Angie's List that will allow you to list this information. Find out where your competitors are listed. I mean, it looks like you're already doing it with this one. So you can do it with this one as well. Um, then add your business's information to more directories than this guy, you know? And um, if he's a listed in 150 different directories, you should be listed in 300. So this is just a quick overview. I hope you found it helpful and informative. I tried to keep it short and to the point. As a quick recap, you'll want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your homepage here with high volume search terms. Um, and you'll want to have more websites linking to you than your competitor here. Oh no, let me go back, there we go. More websites linking to you than your competitor and you wanna put your business's name, address, and phone number in more directory, directories than your top competitors here. If you follow these tips, this is how you will become number one across the top of Google search. And I recommend you start as soon as possible. It does take time to implement these changes. And the sooner you get started, the sooner you, you'll begin to profit from your website. Um, if you have any questions or you would just rather have someone else handle this for you while you keep running your um, electric tech business, then please feel free to give me a call. My number is at the bottom of the email. And if I'm not already working with another electrician in the areas that you're wanting to rank for, then I would be happy to help you out. All I ask is that you please just respond to the email. Give me some feedback of what you thought of this video. And I thank you so much for clicking on it and taking um, a listen or watching it. <laughs> I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.